Hey, what's up? And welcome back, everyone, to the Iceman Isaac Academy, the second channel of the Warzone Academy dedicated specifically to coaching every single day. Today, we're taking a look at your gameplay. A member from the community has submitted their gameplay via the Discord, and we're going to review it. It's going to be my first time looking at it. We're going to learn a little bit about their background, who they are as a player, and then we're going to critique based on that. If you want me to review your gameplay, make sure to join the Warzone Academy Discord. Not only can you submit your gameplay there to have it reviewed by me, but you can also meet members of the community. If you're looking for other people to play that use these academy tactics, that's where you can meet them, hang out, and we have dedicated voice channels set up in there as well so you can play with members of the academy. Without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at who we're coaching today, and it is none other than ASO. So he said he stopped playing COD back in 2012, and I picked it back up for Warzone 1. I was pretty similar. I stopped playing COD around like 2014 or something, and I stopped until Blackout. Really just didn't enjoy the multiplayer experience anymore, but I really enjoyed um the the battle royale experience he had a 0.6 kd until he started the academy videos to get better he got married kd up to a respectable 1.1 kd however your overall win percentage is a very low 1.1 percent so let's talk about a few things here first off the 1 kd that's going to be talking about warzone 1 right we don't have an ability to track our stats for warzone 2 and frankly i don't really care too much about this stat right here and even you say a very low 1.1%, there's 150 people in the lobby. So, uh, you know, your percent, you are above average at winning at 1.1% because there is a less than 1% chance of you winning a map when there's 150 people, right? Um, so don't beat yourself up too much. Strengths. I watch your videos and try to implement strategy. Love that about you. Pre-match awareness. So he knows meta loadouts, where to drop for a quick loadout, etc. And then general movement. His weaknesses is I speed myself up, I chase kills and lose position, guilty of that, and then last circle awareness and comfort. So maybe getting a little bit nervous, not sure not sure what we do in the final circle. We're going to take a look at all of that here today uh, in your gameplay, and hopefully we can find some things that help improve your Warzone 2 experience. I do like the change he's made here, uh, changing the dialogue volume. That's the person that's like, zone is closing or enemy UAV. So I wouldn't turn it all the way down, but I have lowered mine down to 50% as well. He's also lowered his hit marker volume, which is something I suggest because the hit markers, I've turned mine completely off um, because you still get the visual indicator of a hit marker, but having no hit marker volume can sometimes, um, all those little like, dot, 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 whenever you're hitting someone can sometimes mask additional noise. And maybe I'll hear footsteps that I wouldn't, but let's be honest, footsteps in this game are, are kind of going to be chalked anyways. So, looks like you've opted to land on a safe cracker on the other side of the map. We're going to kind of like fast forward through a lot of this and really make sure we get towards that end game rotation. But I like the idea. Your head's up on a swivel trying to figure out where people are. Target set up. Get to work. Enemy looks like we're to the AO. playing on controller. He got information that someone was dropping behind him. Here's some drop above. And then, do you, where, where are your crosshairs? I don't even know if this is an option, but like, I should be seeing, you know, a little bit of this. I don't know if you've disabled your crosshair or maybe you're using a monitor crosshair, but I would definitely keep your crosshairs enabled. Um, one, it helps you with good centering. So you know where you're looking like right now, if I'm centering, I'm centering my crosshairs on this line up here. But if you have a monitor crosshair, um, maybe that can help. The only bad thing about a monitor crosshair is the, the crosshairs in this game actually float. So your crosshair may be here at the center of your screen. That may be where your monitor crosshair is. But a lot of times your crosshair will float as you jump around and aim. And that's actually where your aim is going when it's floating. So you try to get that drill charge up there. You see this guy right here. What I would suggest if you want to do that again, if you have a drill charge, you can literally throw it from the inside of the ceiling in here, throw it on the ceiling, and it'll blow the guy up on the roof. But fortunately, find the guy. Looks like you're shooting pretty straight. Decent start to the game. One kill to your name. I do the exact same thing to try to get the free loot as well. Make sure we're prioritizing that reload, right? We only have 13 bullets in our mag. Always getting ready for the third parties. So, found the safe cracker contract on the ground. I always suggest whenever going inside of gas stations, 
we loot both this health thing right here and the one on the wall right here because they may have a self revive. So I always check those two as well. But looks like you get the safe cracker contract going around getting some loot. Popping the UAV. Love that about you. You might end up buying your own weapon. You do. Pick up the TAC-56. Looks like you are rocking a suppressor on it. One of those like weird, I forget what that suppressor is called. Keep in mind, suppressors are good. They can help out with damage range. But, and bullet velocity. But it's no longer necessary because whenever you shoot on the map, you don't show up as a red dot. The only way you show up as a red dot is if someone pops a UAV. We have information that this guy is on our floor, on our lower right. Oh, it's, it's a... Ooh, I'm lucky. Mm. Gotta be careful. Uh-oh. Okay. The two things I noticed here. First off, okay, boom. We have that information. We should be staring at this radar. Because, like, what am I looking at right here? I'm not really looking at anything, right? So I'm looking at this radar. I'm looking up my top left for this piece of information. I know he is on my level on the lower right. So as soon as I hit this, boom, my centering is locked right here, right? Because he's probably right here behind this doorway. So you need to be centering in the correct area. You can hear the beeping, but obviously audio isn't great. You end up living. You throw the shock charge. You think he's still up there. Obviously, you're not tracking that he's down below. Kind of a waste of a throwing knife. And I think you actually spotted him. Oh, maybe you didn't. I thought I saw something right here. But I'm a little worried. You only put on one plate. I hope you have apply all plates put on and not just apply single. Like right now, we know there's someone here. Footstep audio isn't reliable. My head is down. When I've got a whole rafter that could be shooting at me, he also could be somewhere over here. I would want to be a lot more disciplined. Not going heads down looting. Focusing on the other things. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Nice. Okay. Good kill. Recovered well. I will say if I'm clearing out this angle, right? This is a tight angle. And I'm going to, as I work my way up the stairs, I'm going to be clearing some close angles. I'm probably going to pull out that MP7 that you have. I'm not going to be clearing this with my uh, scar. On top of that, Maybe I'd shoulder that with the scar first, make sure it's clear, and then throw my Simtex. Almost get terrible timing. Good shots here. And nice kill. One thing I did notice is this right here. You're aiming down sight, aiming down sight. You notice you are way off target. Anytime I'm way off target and I feel like my aim assist isn't sticking, un L2, center, re L2, and it gets crazy stickier. You'll see even pros do this at the highest level. And I'm not talking like Warzone pros. I'm talking like Call of Duty League professional players. They will re-ADS and un they will re-aim down sight consistently because it like re-triggers the strength of your aim assist. You get the kill. I'd be plating up before I got into the bag probably. Just in case you get third party, you can always come back for loot if you get third partied. You can't come back if you're not reloaded or don't have full plates. And yeah, you only have, there's a setting, go into your controller, change that to apply all. So that speeds up that process. All right, let's see where your next rotation is. Often to go for the stronghold. Love that. Just keep in mind, anytime you push up on a stronghold, people are going to have um, UAVs. I don't like what you did with your loadout though. So we have an AR and then we also have an LMG. So we're missing out on that close range mobility. One, to, to, to get around the map faster, but also to clear out buildings. And uh, definitely not an ideal loadout. This, this TAC-56 loadout that you have looks pretty dang good. That's fine for your long range weapon. Nice, good shot. You had a drill charge, you may have been able to take him out there. And at this point, I would save it, right? Like, if we had him cracked, and then we immediately threw a drill charge, we might be able to get, get a kill. But the way that you're playing, this guy's already had time to plate up, and we're basically just wasting this drill charge. Like, we may hit him or hit a bot, but we're not going to get we're not gonna get a kill off it. 
one thing you can do in commonly camped buildings like this is throw down that cluster mine in the choke point you know people are going to be pushing this building consistently that's a really good opportunity for you, you to use that working our way around the side of the building going up keep in mind when a building becomes a stronghold pretty much every entry point is boarded up every window every ceiling entrance there's only the doors that you can go through on most of these unless like then an actual part of the roof has collapsed which we see quite a bit in hydroelectric the only way to get in is through that all right so the question is is the player still here or are we dealing with bots one way to tell is if we hear other bots shooting around do we hear bots shooting other people are they aggroing are they talking um and by other people they're not shooting other ais they're shooting players we're using a lot of utility and i haven't seen any sign that there's actually a human up here that's a bot on your left oh my gosh the bot got snapped on i'd be careful opening up new doors new lines of sight that you haven't cleared off you know you're safe right here this is a dead end but there's always a lot of good loot in here there's usually a white crate yep right behind you right there white crate that could have given you a UAV, a three-plate satchel, a lot of information. And then those are the bots. Ooh, ooh, you didn't kill him. Ooh. So that's like that's like an old counter-strike mistake, man. Like you never want to you never want to be challenging a lane we'll call this a lane never be challenging a lane while you're switching weapons or while you're reloading right but fortunately you have self revive you're gonna get the self revive off you get undercover end up taking that guy out get another self revive and looks like we're good to go still have yet to find it find anyone in here like i was saying it seems like we were wasting a lot of time there being really really conservative Looks like you do end up pick, picking up an SMG, though, which can help you throughout the rest of the game. So, Ral and a Lockman, pretty dang good loadout. It's going to hit tough. In solos, I don't know if I need that damage her mag of a Ral, though. So, I probably would have kept your um, your 5.56. Spotting a guy right here. Good shots, good kill. And that guy probably couldn't hear you. I don't know if I would have done anything different here earlier. You had good trigger discipline not to shoot him too quick. Waited until you got up on top of the wall to get the angle. It looks like you shot before your centering was on, though. And that might be kind of part of the reason, like, your crosshairs aren't there. When you see your crosshairs starting to pull, that's when you know you've got good aim assist on him. Um, so I'm still kind of wondering why you have crosshairs off. I pick that up. I pick up that muni box for sure. That muni box is so clutch, man. Even though you already have two drill charges what you can do is you can drop those drill charges on the ground hit the muni box and then you have two drill charges here then you can stow those other two drill charges in here and now all of a sudden you'll have four drill charges or i guess store them here and you'll have five because you already have one right here as well definitely don't plan on using the trophy system and you have zero spare plates so i'd probably put some plates in there as well we're still holding on the rockets for some unknown reason definitely some better inventory management we could be doing Despite all the looting you were doing, we're not we're not on a prime prime inventory yet. You pick it up, and you pick up plates. Good. Okay, at least we picked up the plates. Definitely could have used the muni box too, because we're out of ammo. All right, heading across the map, kind of doing that classic pinwheel rotation like we talk about, man. Wrapping around this way, clearing off all of these people that are rotating in late. I love that. Ended up finding him some SMG. When are we going to reload? So when we're playing, it's tough, right? It's really tough when we're playing, but we have to get what's what's called a good cross check, right? So we're always, always, always focusing on our cross on our crosshair, right? Um, that's our number one focus, right? So right now our crosshair, our centering is pretty bad, okay? Even in a situation like this, and everyone's always improving it, we want to have our crosshair where we expect someone to be. Where would someone be? In these windows. Okay. Or maybe around this corner over here. What we don't want to do is start the gunfight shooting at their toes and then dragging up. We want to start the gunfight aiming at their chest. 
So get our crosshairs up. Other thing, we're always checking, man. So our crosshair is the center of our cross check. And then we're going, okay, boom. How am I doing over here? How much money do I have? How much place do I have? Okay, my full health. Do I have a self revive? Awesome. Sweet. Back to my crosshair. How's my crosshair placement going? Okay, sweet. Crosshair placement's good. All right, up here. Where am I rotating to? Where do I expect people to be rotating in from? Where's my next piece of cover in the event I get into, you know, into a gunfight? Am I approaching a buy station? Is there a vehicle near me? Okay, sweet. I've checked that real quick. Okay, how am I doing? Am I fragging out? Oh my gosh, look at me. I'm so handsome. There's 49 people left. I have three kills. I'm absolutely frying. Sweet. Back to here. Okay, what is my utility over here? Holy crap, I'm out of ammo. Reload, right? And so you're always doing this, what's called a, what's called a cross check of like, you know, what, what are my current resources? Shoot, I'm out of ammo. Got to reload. Boom. Okay, reload comes back in. All right, if I get into a gunfight, I have two drill charges ready to go, a heartbeat sensor, which I don't think heartbeat sensors work in this game, and I have a trophy system. If I get into a really bad position where someone might be able to kill me with one frag, I'll throw that trophy system down. Ooh, or if I get it down at range, I have a precision airstrike. Boom. And you just, th th these are all conversations happening within like, you know, milliseconds in your brain. You're just constantly, eyes are going all over the place. But probably the most important one is crosshair, ammo count, and especially if you have a, a UAV up, look at your mini map. Accidentally get the reload, uh-huh. I have a bad habit of this too. If you want to get to the UAV faster, instead of going one, two, three, four, five, you can just go one, which will bring you over here, two, which will bring you over here. So if you want to buy a UAV faster, that's a faster way. Just go left up instead of right, 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 down, down. Love the fact that you picked up the durable gas mask. Love that you got away from the buy station while you popped that UAV. Just keep in mind when you did that, you dropped a precision so hopefully you pick that back up somehow you got another uav back i would buy that for sure no you got blessed man i would buy another uav you also dropped your airstrike so we just left like we just left a lot of utility there but as that uav is going off UAV. hey bro if i don't see anything on the uav i am i am running i am moving i am trying to trying to get to someone so i can hunt and so i can kill so far, not bad. Pretty conservative rotations. You got a lot of money. Let's use that money, though. I love that you bought the durable, though. Most people would have skipped over that. So I love that you did that. Nice. Changing your decisions based off of where the zone is wrapping in. Just kind of seeing, like, hey, where's this next zone going to take us? For me, I don't really like going over here because you're kind of trapped on a little island. I would have bought inside of here, even though I know it's riskier, but I also have the gun skill to get me out of that si sort of situation. So maybe Marshlands is safer for you. Hit this rotation. Spot a guy up there on your top left. Hey, you give him a little friendly honk. Maybe that was a panic click. Put him off to your left. Nice. Good shot. So keep in mind that's a drill charge, right? The only time that drill charge is going to be useful is when it's blasting through the side of a wall. So if I'm you, I love the idea of that, but let's throw that drill charge right in here so that way the drill charge blows him up on the other side. Be very careful, though. It looked like you were about to demon chow this guy with a B-hop. Like right here. It looked like you were trying to round yourself all the way around. Looks like you got caught on an auto mantle. Turn off those auto mantles, man. Um, and then just be really careful. With an LMG, you might have to slow walk around corners because by the time you get that gun up, you're not going to be able to B-hop and throw that thing over your shoulder like you could in Caldera. Nice job. Throw the drill charge. Bad placement. Switch to the SMG. I love this. Taking height while you kind of figure out what's going on. Maybe see if you find anything decent. Gunshots were to your right. I notice though, we killed this guy, but did you hear those extra footsteps? Those wooden footsteps below you? It sounds like you do. You're playing pretty aware for him. You're kind of scanning around. 
But if I'm you, in this position, I don't think you heard him. So I don't, uh, that's not fair. I don't think you heard them. But if I'm you, I'm reloading and I'm looking over that stairway, right? I'm looking over the stairway and that way if I see him coming while I'm reloading my LMG, I back up, switch to my MP5 and then pre-aim. But right now you've got a map in your face and you're reloading an LMG, you're getting slammed if he pushes. Just like that, but oh my god, slammed! So that's what I was talking about. I would have been shouldering this. And I've never watched this. I've literally never watched this gameplay before. But since I heard those footsteps below me, he heard me getting involved in a gunfight. If he's smart, this guy right here, if he hears you reloading, he should full send up those stairs and you should be dead. 100%. But what you can do to prevent that is stand basically right here and kind of shoulder and look around to where this wall and you're just kind of like back and forth, strafing left and right, back and forth, where this is your piece of cover and you're just looking. Is there someone coming here? Someone coming here? Oh crap, someone's here. Cancel the reload. Not why, why cancel the reload? Because we can't do that. It's not, it's not Caldera. It's not Verdansk anymore. Full switch to the MP5, strafe out, and then gun him. But fortunately, you spot the guy and just absolutely slam him. He doesn't land a bullet. Nice job getting our head down. Even in situations where we don't know exactly where we're getting shot from, we can use the compass tool. This compass tool, even though we haven't taken damage, which would normally give us a, you know, a damage indicator that kind of looks like a little rough semicircle, we can use this information up here and be like, oh, boom, it came from this direction. I'm you, I would just check that bag real quick just to see if there's any utility in that bag. There could be a UAV, an airstrike, anything. Nice job mounting up, getting a free kill. Great shots there. Reload. I would have done the same thing, though. I would have mounted up there. You may or may not have gotten that kill. One thing I always emphasize, if you're shooting someone at range, okay, add just a little bit of left stick, a little bit of strafe. And it's going to make that feel so much stickier, man. I promise you, if you were just putting a little bit of strafe in there, it would have pulled your aim into him. When we don't have our left stick engaged, we lose rotational aim assist. At super long distances, it won't help, but that was close enough that I think you would have gotten rotational aim assist if you started strafing. Spot the guy up there. Oh, you gunned him. But I don't know why we canceled our reload. I don't know why we canceled our reload here. You sprint and that canceled your reload and you sprinted again and it canceled the reload and then you switched your weapon when the gas wasn't anywhere near you. And then what we talked about earlier, why are we challenging new lanes, switching weapons and reloading? Really good shots to recover it there. And it looks like that time you are strafing off to the left a little bit to help him miss some shots. Get into cover. I want you to get in the habit of plating first, man. Plate first. You got 53 bullets in there. You got a full SMG. If someone pushes you, this isn't what saves your life. This is what saves your life. Put your freaking plates on first. Unless you're completely out of ammo on both guns. Then reload first. But if you got full SMG, put your plates in first. And for the love of God, apply all on your plates. <laughs> but hey man, seven kills in solos is not bad. Great game so far. I love that you're scanning for the edge of the zone. Looking for those stragglers. may have heard footsteps on your right. Don't believe those are reliable. I would try to loot that bag, man. He could have he could have absolutely anything in that bag. Could have a UAV, could have an extra self revive. You still need a three plate vest, which you haven't picked up yet. Start rotating in. It's an aggressive push, but sometimes you got to do it to get to a power position. I like it. 
Careful with this. Be really careful mantling here. Spot someone 11 meters away, all the way at the end. Oh, brother, don't be afraid of him, though. Okay, I like this. So, when you pulled out that heartbeat sensor, and it said 11 meters, you can see where the dot is, right? So it's 11 meters away, all the way over there. If I'm you, I'm aping inside of that building, and I'm trying to I'm trying to dominate it. Go in. Nice. Way to get in there fast. Don't expose our back for very long. Oh, no. We just gave him an audio cue, bro. We're just giving... This, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Okay. This is bad. This? Great. Boom. Get the freaking baby monitor out of your hand. Up here. Mantle. Mantling is so quiet in this game. Cool. We're in here. We're aimed on sight walking. We're in here. Awesome. We're just clearing out this building. He has no idea we're on the second story. Enemy UAV active. And we just shut a door. We just gave him all the info in the world. If he chows right here, baby monitor in our hand, we're dead. Open the door. Another audio cue for him instead of creaking the door. We just opened up a whole new lane. And we have a baby monitor in our hand. I like this, though. I like this. Maybe pick up that three plate on your right. So there's a setting in the game where sprinting opens up doors. You want that. The sprint bash open doors. Make sure you have that setting on because it looks like you don't. Okay. That thing said he was... When we last checked that heartbeat sensor, bro, it said he was, what, four meters away? Six meters away? That LMG should not be in your hands. Unless you see him running off in the distance, that LMG should not be in your hands. Unless you see him out here. Let's start clearing out the bottom of our building. Peeking around the outside corners. Now we hear more footsteps. I like this. A three-plate satchel is just calling your name right there, brother. It wants to be on you. Moving here. And like, if we're going to camp, let's camp right, okay? Let's not hold this angle. Like, let's hold this choke point, right? Let's hold this choke point. But let's not hold right here. Let's hold what's called an off angle, which is where we would hold something like this. Maybe maybe backed up a little bit. That way they can't see us at the bottom of the stairs and they can just be like, oh no, and then dip out. Wait until they have to push up to somewhere like right here. They're already on the mid stairs. Maybe they're pre-aiming at the bottom and then they start sprinting at the mid stairs and then you gun them on this, what is an off angle as opposed to a main angle. We're just making a lot of noise and we're not we're not trying to capitalize on any of this, right? Moving here. So we know this guy's below us. What do we have? Potentially cause some chaos. Throw a breaching charge right down here, and we might find ourselves cracking a plate. But we do have a durable gas mask. So what we could do is hey, if we're gonna camp in here. We've already been stomping around. They know we're here, right? Let's shut this door so we have an extra audio cue. Let's play a durable gas mask play in this window. Which it looks like that might be what you're doing. I like this. I like this. Uh, don't don't look behind us. This... Yeah. We should have our AR out right now. And then, boom, we catch this guy. He's an easy kill. Grab to the right. Oh, we shot way too soon, man. Okay, audio in this game is horrible, right? Audio in this game is horrible. I probably would have done a full sprint, jump, and then my feet will hit like somewhere around here, and then I'm spraying in that jump. But instead, we just shot someone with the gas on our back. And we're going for the thirst before we go for the... Okay, and then, boom, uh, instantly, breaching charge, breaching charge. 
This isn't bad. This isn't bad. Throwing the breaching charges. There's no ammo. Nice, nice, nice. And then dive. Dive into the bushes. No. No. Unlucky. Okay, so that it was, it was it was so well played in some parts and then others so right here okay only have a 40 round mag right i'm not shooting right here i'm not getting the down he's way too close to a piece of cover i mean honestly we can back it up to here this guy should have been dead okay that guy's dead right there with an ar that takes that out of the equation all right maybe we missed our window of opportunity this right here we shot way too soon okay we hear a third party let's go in and get involved why are we shooting on the person on the ground? Okay, let's shoot this guy. Nice job getting out, switching to your AR. At this point, I'm launching breaching charges into the side of the door and then holding a pre-aim with my AR. I like this jump, though, into a piece of cover. Get these two kills. Awesome. Now, where is our closest piece of cover? Obviously, we can't go back in there into the gas. Okay, so where's our next piece of cover? Sometimes we have cover, sometimes we have concealment. This is concealment. If you would have dove, like, and why, why are we worried about this? We just we just killed the we just killed the two people in here. Why are we looking at this? We know the threats are out in front of us now, and we just get shot in the back. And we see from this guy's kill cam, if we would have dove into the bushes, he may have like lost us. And we're also looking the wrong way. If you would have dove forward and started looking where are my next threats, you may have been able to actually slam this guy. Um, but hey, man. What was that? Nine kills? Solos? That's not bad. That's not bad. For someone that started with a 0.6 KD, working his way up to a 1.1. Like, don't, don't take it wrong. Obviously, I'm going to rip apart everyone's gameplay, including my own. I There are plenty of times I play like an idiot, or I can go back and, like, back, backseat quarterback it. But, like, this is good. Oh, change your settings though. Apply all to your plates. Sprint to bash open doors. Get a crosshair on your screen. Um, there's some other ones that I mentioned in there as, as, as well. Uh, some of our looting was a little bit questionable. We never picked up a three plate the entire game. Maybe would have had some extra utility streaks, UAV, if we would have looted some of those bodies. Shot too early. Sometimes we had great trigger discipline. Other times we shot too early. But on the whole, looks like you're starting off Warzone 2 to a pretty good start, man. So uh, thank you so much, ESO, for uh, for submitting that gameplay. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to have me review your gameplay, make sure to join the Discord. That'll be linked in the pinned comment and the description. We're going to have you kind of like put in what are your strengths, weaknesses, what are your goals in terms of how you want to grow as a player. And a uh, huge, huge shout out to a longtime member of the Academy for submitting his gameplay to be reviewed by the Academy.